This movie gets four bananas out of five according to the no more stinky monkeys.com website. The man has these terrible nightmares about some vicious dogs running down the main street of some city. The dogs pass large numbers of people until they come to a building and look up to see this man staring out of a window. These dogs bark and growl viciously and waiting for this man to come out of his apartment house. Why is this happening to him? It's all part of his flashbacks from the 19th Israeli Lebanese war that he fought in. As this sequence unfolds in very realistic animation, you think the movie's about him, but as it turns out, it's about the man he's telling the story to, another veteran of that war. While the first man is haunted by his service time, it's the other man who has no flashbacks or any other memories at all from that time. Somehow, forgetting such a memorable time in your life hasn't really bothered him until now, while talking to his friend. I've heard of people who suffer traumatic experiences forgetting the episode in order to deal with it, but that he hasn't thought about not remembering seems odd. Still, the movie becomes a documentary of sorts as the man, Ari Folman, tries to reconnect with some of his other comrades and bounces the information he gets off his therapist. You begin to realize that Ari is not hiding from traumatic experiences that happened to him, but rather atrocities that took place while he was in uniform. His one friend who now lives in Holland and has amassed quite a fortune from selling falafels. But that man can't distance himself like Ari can from the horrors of war. As Ari talks to these people, his own memories start to come back, but sometimes in hazy, nonsensical ways. Animation was a very interesting way to tell this story, as it would have cost a holy fortune to recreate the war scenes. And the hallucinatory scenes would be too bizarre for a serious study on the, study on the atrocities of war. As the movie unfolds, we find out that back in 82, the charismatic leader of the Lebanese gets assassinated, thus making the toll of war go from bad to much, much worse. Ari Folman has created a stirring vision, but unfortunately the people speaking, while realistic, are not professional voices, so sometimes the power of their words gets lost in the monotony of their speech. Because of this, I fought off sleep a few times in the middle of the film, but once the last act starts, it is impossible not to be riveted. This tale is told in Hebrew with English subtitles and is a great companion piece to last year's Persepolis. That was the story of one young woman's life in Iran, first during the Shah years, but mostly during the Ayatollah years. That was also told through animation and gives you a bird's eye view into the filmmaker's soul that perhaps a camera could never see. Ciao from the friend of mine.